G'day. How do you get two focal lengths out of one prime? Hmm? Two focal lengths out of one prime? What's that, magic? No, it's math. Which can be a bit like magic, some people. <laughs> you can't count like me. However, in my hot little hand, I've got a nifty 50. Well, technically it's a 55. This is a uh, Fujinon lens from the old film camera days from Fujifilm. If you use a digital Fujifilm camera nowadays, well, the 50 mils aren't nifty 50s because the Fujifilm cameras aren't full frame. There's a bit of a problem. This 55 would be about uh, 77 mil on the uh, FX cameras, the APS-C sensors. If you want a nifty 50, you're going to have to go down to, a, say, a 35 mil prime to uh, get a 50 mil or so on your um, Fujifilm X series. And that should give you a bit of a clue how you can get two focal lengths out of one prime lens because of sensor size. Now, I use Fujifilm digital cameras. They don't make a full frame camera. So I've got uh, various of their APS-C sensor bodies. I'm filming on the X-H2 at the moment. I often use the X-H1, take that out, which is like an X-T2, but with a better grip Ibis, nice shutter, things like that. To me, it's yeah, a bit of a specked up X-T2. You have to uh, convert in your head the prime lens focal length by 1.5. So a 50mm prime, say the F2, would be 75mm. And the 16mm would actually be a 24. The 12mm Samyang that I really like is actually a 18mm. But, what about their other digital camera range, the GFX? Well, it goes the other way. You multiply it by less than 1. <laughs> 0.79 to be exact. You have to do the maths again. And I'm not good at 0.79 times, so I had to use a calculator. Let's see, I wrote them all down here. The 50mm prime on the GFX turns out to be 39.5. Or I render up to 40. What if... Instead of taking multiple lenses, I took one lens and two cameras. Take out my X-H1. With a 50mm on it, it's a 75mm. Have my GFX 50R. With a 50mm on it, it's a 40mm. So, 40 and 75 out of one lens. So I thought I'd do a bit of an experiment. Went out to uh, Hillsville, went to Maroondah Dam. It's, there's a really nice tower. If you stand on the top of the dam wall, you can look at the water tower there and get a nice view, and that's what I used to photograph. So, taking the X-H1 and the GFX 50R and three lenses, and I got a very big range of focal lengths. Now, I took lenses I could swap between the cameras. So, let's start with the lenses. I had the uh, super multicolored Pentax 50mm f1.7. That was used on both cameras. It's got a PK mount, so I've got adapters for both systems. Also had the uh, Super Tacoma 135mm f2.5. That's got a M42 mount, and I've got adapters for both systems. I also took the Super Tacoma 200mm f4. So with those three lenses, the 50mm, the 135, and the 200, I'm able to cover with those two sensor sizes 40mm. 75mm, 105mm, 160mm, 200mm, and 300mm. So I've really got a very broad range of focal lengths there with three lenses of 40mm to 300mm. And uh, depending on which focal length of those I want, I just put it on a different camera. Either the crop sensor APS-C or the medium format. So here's uh, different photos I took all on a tripod, so same point of view, just swapping lenses over between the two different sensor size cameras. And out of Rundadam, shot in black and white, just cause, you know, 
that's what I like nowadays. So with the FX cameras, 75mm equivalent focal length with the 50mm and then the 135mm turned out about 200mm and then the 200mm Super Tacoma ends up being about 300mm. Put those same lenses on the GFX, the 50mm ends up being 40mm, the 135mm ends up being about 105mm and the 200mm goes down to 158 So all those six different focal lengths out of just three lenses, swapping them between the two cameras. I find that's quite good. I can cover a huge range of focal lengths there just with those three lenses. So if you're really into primes, that's a good way of uh, extending the range of focal lengths you've got in your primes just by swapping them out onto uh, different sensors. Let us know if uh, you do that sort of thing. You know, if you take multiple sensor size cameras out with you or do you always use the same size? There you go, it was just a bit of fun, a bit of a day out shooting, experimenting a bit with uh, the gear I've got because all of this gear is mine. I've bought all of it with my own money, none of it loaned, given to me. I'm uh, not a Fuji ambassador or anything like that. I've got no affiliate links. <laughs> if you want to buy something, you're on your own. You can't do it through me. But if you like this, click like, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can even buy me a coffee. Dum 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 dum. Buymeacoffee.com slash Greg Carrick. <laughs> Whatever you do, pick up a camera, take it for a walk, and have some fun. Ciao.